Hey, what's up? This is Elliot. Just doing another little intro with some updated dates so you can come see us live since we recorded this ahead of time. If you want to see Jamal Johnson, our hilarious, amazing guest, April 15th, you will be at the Glendale Room in LA. Technically Glendale, but come on. Wait, come on. Uh, April 24th, you will be at the Just for Laughs auditions at Flappers. All right, it's auditioning for the biggest comedy festival in the world. So go show some love if you're in the area. That's a big deal. And uh, June 18th, you will be at the DC Improv. All right, follow him on social media. All those dates will be there. Uh, Ariana, if you want to see her, she will be in San Diego May 4th through the 6th doing Don't Tell shows. All right, so check her out there. If you want to see me this upcoming weekend that this comes out, April 13th through the 15th, I will be at Comedy on State in Madison, Wisconsin, hosting for the wonderful Sam J. Very excited about that. Come say what's up. Uh, and then back in L.A., April 23rd, I will be doing Friendship Buddies. And then April 29th, I will be doing Parking Sucks. All right, so come say what's up. Uh, April 23rd, day after my birthday. Give me a nickel. All right, I need it. Uh, and yeah, enjoy the episode. Have a great week. Um, listen to your parents. Oh, we got a clap. Oh. <gasps> nice clap, but you should play <laughs> flamenco music. Who are you? That was been a, practicing. That was cr- you want to open up a can? That's also your favorite thing to do. I'll wait. At the- Oh really? I'm waiting for now the right moment. Wait. <laughs> he always tradition. does this, where he he tradition. opens the can at the worst possible moment. Um, but welcome, hi, I'm Ariana, and I'm Elliot, and this is Burning Burn the, the Light. light. <laughs> I can't. That still cracks me up every time we do it. Yeah, because we're like, oh, how funny would it be? Yeah, and then we didn't come up with anything better. So it's. Just, I love it. being corny. It's fine. Um. Today we have a great guest. Very excited to have him on the pod. He is a comedian and internet radio host. It is Jamal Johnson. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> how's, how's everybody doing today? Good. Doing we're good. Great. How you doing? I'm having a goddamn blast. Today nice. really yeah, a good we, day. A little insider info. We did that intro 30 times. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me. You're the one who messed it up first. Yeah, I can't. I, I'm usually really on it, but I just... No, it's okay. Today is, look, you're, you're yeah. going through some... Some some big changes yeah. in your life. Yeah. I know. I'm trying to buy a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, You're trying to lock yeah. down a cigarette I'm brand. To, yeah, I am. Not a sponsorship. Not just a sponsorship. A, just to ruin it. my life. Yeah. But thank you for the advice. I just learned that Virginia Slims or no parliaments have a gap at the top for cocaine. Hey, yeah, no problem. Two you could put one. other stuff up there too, maybe, but yeah. mostly what cocaine. El- oh yeah. Maybe a little bit, a little bit of crystal in there, a little bit, sure, a little sure. bit of meth, a little bit of meth. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Like top it off, yeah. falls to the wall. I pixie know. sticks. Yeah, you guys were really co- oh, pixie sticks is a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> that you is basically can, cocaine. You can mix flavors. It's though. cocaine for kids mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, no, you guys were really coaching me through my existential crisis of the need to purchase a pack of cigarettes. Happy to help. Never done it. Maybe uh, time will tell. Next time you see me, I'm going to be a different woman, Jamel. I'm going to be a different person. Hey, what's you, up, Jamel? Yeah, I hope you make it through this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I well, tried every cigarette at the gas station. <laughs> I think I finally found one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, well, welcome. We uh, t- uh, Tell the people for, that are just listening what you're wearing right now. I am wearing a large Washington football team um, hoodie. I, don't, I hesitate to call it a hoodie because it doesn't have pockets. It's almost like a oh. hockey jersey. Yeah, it's Wait, like a, a hockey hooded. jersey. A hoodie doesn't have to have pockets. I, that's how I feel. I, I feel, feel like a hoodie just, just has to have a hood. Uh, yeah, that, that's Well, that's exactly. fair because I do have a hood on it. Yeah. yeah. But that something about it not having the pocket in the middle is oh, bothering me. I can see that's that. controversial. It's more of a hockey jersey than a yeah. hooded sweatshirt. Ooh. That's like when a bar doesn't have the footrest <gasps> on yeah. it. And you always and go to stand. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, go you just for keep it. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. how I feel. Ooh. I've Every been walking time. around just rubbing my stomach. <laughs> holding it you're like a muff you go to put stuff in there and it just falls and you're like yeah man every time it sucks every time i see you including last time uh you are in some type of sports jersey i do love sports yeah i do have many sport clothing items yes i don't know what started this disorder yeah uh you're sick. I'm just so sorry. I'm doing stuff. Thanks, I'm man. So, I no, hope you're apology coping. accepted. Yeah. Thanks, man. It's I mean, incredible. it's tough, man. We, we yeah. I'm here to get the awareness <laughs> out. Because last time we all saw each other, we did Don't Tell. Remember? That's true. Yeah. On yeah. the rooftop show. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. It was pretty. They were they were fun. How do you feel about outdoor shows? I like outdoor shows. I feel less good about outdoor shows in uh, private. Residence. Residence. <laughs> yeah. Where you have to get on the roof. You have to like. Yeah. You have to get someone's thumbprint. Yeah. It was just like some in. dudes with groceries. I was like. Ugh. Yeah. 
I'm rock. I'm rolling with you guys. Yeah. And they just uh, allowed it. Thankfully. Yeah. They're like, we don't. This is a secure building, but not when there's a comedy show going on. Yeah. Yeah. I just. I think I don't like outdoor shows when they're daytime. No. But an outdoor nighttime show, I do oh, yeah, for sure. enjoy. You can't have a sun. The comedy no. and the sun being out is yeah. a bad mix. We're yeah. like vampires. It's yeah, yeah. not a good. Shouldn't, you know. It should be dusk. Yeah. At minimum. Yes. <laughs> I agree. I do like a sunset show. That is true. Um, that was very nice. Your set, it was dark for your set. Yeah. I was, which I felt good about because it yeah. was a little light yeah. at the beginning. And I was yeah. like, ah, I don't know, yeah. man. Yeah. But by the time I went on, it was... It was nice. It was Properly nice way to close out. Very indigo sky. <laughs> indigo sky. I was skies. feeling good about that. Yeah. That's the name of your album. That's going to be it. Yeah, well, yeah, when I do my easy listening. <laughs> easy listening comedy album. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, a side project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah just easy listening comedy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the punchlines, yeah. are, they're not too hard. You're not yeah. going to bust a gut. Yeah, You're no. going to get a little chuckle. You're yeah, going to enjoy it. Or, yeah. or even less than a chuckle. Just like a huh. Yeah. yeah, you can you can oh, meditate. I see, I see to this. what you. I see what he did there. Yeah, yeah, I love that. One of those. Oh man, so you live out in LA now. Yep. But you started comedy in DC, right? Yep. yep. Okay. So how's it been? Oh, you're repping. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, but how's it been in LA and that transition from DC to LA? Uh, the transition was difficult. Yeah. But uh, worth it. In the end, yeah. Glad I stuck. You it like out. it? You're still here. That's a good sign. I, I like that I'm here. Okay. Do I like it? Yeah. Here. <laughs> that is very different. It's two different questions. Yeah. 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 How long I have you mean, been out yeah. here? Uh, coming up on seven years. Damn. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Damn. I think that I think once you start inching towards a decade, it is sort of like. You know, you've invested so much time in a city and kind of put those roots down, but yeah. I feel like the first like five years are really hard and then it's like the five to seven is where you find a sweet spot and then seven to ten is when you start questioning if you made the right choice ten years ago yeah you know? no for sure <laughs> i'm in a slightly better apartment yeah than when i first came here hell yeah uh i'm uh i know i know where a uh, quality of sandwich is that i Ooh, like wait hey. what's your favorite sandwich spot favorite sandwich this is a very important question los angeles well, see, the thing about L.A. is it's a lot of burgers. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah. I'm not a huge tops. burger person. I See, I, I like me a burger. Mm-hmm. I go big burgers. Mm-hmm. Gold burger is very good. Mm-hmm. I'll never scoff at a fat burger either. Okay. You know? I appreciate that. Fat Thank burgers are a honesty. lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> never um, been. Never been. Oh, buddy. It's good. Yeah. There's actually You'll get there. There's a place over here. Fuck, I forgot what it's called. Don't tell people where I live. <laughs> no, but it, yeah, there's a place here there, where someone will make you a burger. Yeah. No, it's uh, <laughs> it's burgers never say die. Yeah. Have you had their oh. fries? It's amazing. It's their like fries a, are like McDonald's fries if they actually try. Yeah, yeah. It's like a McDonald's. It's insane. But with like, like what if McDonald's X Whole Foods? Oh. Type oh. Vibes, you know? Are they yeah. hand cut? No. No, thank God. Are they? Um, no. I don't think so. Do I don't they, think so. It's yeah. like little shoe string They literally, care. they literally look care. like yeah. McDonald's fries. Yeah, no. It's burgers. Damn. Burgers never uh, quit. Uh, burgers never um, never say, say die. die. Stop trucking. What kind of name is that? It's <laughs> like if the <laughs> burger. Exactly. It's like if a burger was James Bond. Yeah. I think is what Ooh, they're going for. Okay. That place is very good. See, but that's the thing. Yeah. LA burgers all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Burgers all over the place. A good sandwich is hard to find though. Good Greek food. I could always get me something with a pita. Okay. Wrap. Yeah. You know, actual yeah. sandwich. Mario's and Glendale's pretty good. Ooh. Oh, Porto's. Oh, oh, is Porto's yeah. really worth the hype? Can you yeah. give us some insight? Okay. Their Trace Leches cake is. Yeah. Damn. Porto's is yeah. a top tier sandwich. I'm, I'm not like a pastry or bakery person though. Well, listen. I'll they go don't for care. the sandwich. They're not, they're not even trying yeah. to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> they got whatever you need, man. They got whatever you need. If you're willing yeah. to stand in a line for I'm ready. I'll do it. 18 to 22 oh, God. minutes. It's yeah. sometimes it's like it's <laughs> the it's line four. is they it's like it. It, it's just it's just bedlam. It's it's, oh, it's anarchy in you the You can portals. order online too. I'm sure they've it's they've just added a bunch insane. of stuff since yeah. the pandemic. They have added some new options. But yeah. before that you should have to go. The only you could only get it inside. Damn. You couldn't call ahead, and <gasps> the it was pandemic just like, changed things. Yeah, that's why I've, I've. I mean, people don't like it when I say it, but I say yeah. COVID was a good thing. Go, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we just clip that. Ultimately, <laughs> good. people get really upset this, with me, I've been but I'm this like, for ten years, the world is a better place. 
<laughs> You've been saying it before COVID was a thing. It's then, a good. It's gonna know, be good. And I posted month, on Maine. The first yeah. month in Los Angeles was kind of good with COVID. Because yeah. there was no, um, there's no traffic. Nobody was leaving their house. Yeah. And, and suddenly the the <laughs> ecosystem was fixing itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like the troposphere was like. Yeah. Troposphere. That's starting a great to mend. There wasn't as much smog. I moved yeah. down yeah. here in May of 2020. Oh, so and so I was like, Moki, girl. Dog's not an environmentalist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, COVID well, Moki, sucked. Moki hates COVID. Yeah. <laughs> She's fine. Will you hear this on the thing? Should I get her? I don't know. Last time it was yeah, really quiet. Should. should I get her? So let's get to the nitty gritty, all right? Mm-hmm. Now that it's, yeah, you know. It's, it's boys time. Dude, talk. It's time for the guys <laughs> to be guys. That sounds like a like a weird segment. Like, you know what time it is? It's time for the guys. That, that actually flows pretty it good. It does, yeah. The guys. yeah. And then the graphic comes out. The and then we is, walk to like another set. Yeah, yeah. The, val- the It's a very bold font. That's that how they should bring this. back the man show. Mm. You ever thought about that? They couldn't. You couldn't do the man show today. What you man could? Show? You it think? Just, I think you could. It would just be a very revised. Because there's so many new. I mean. Oh, yeah. There's so many new men. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of men. Since you don't know about the man show. What's the man show? Oh, oh. you got it. What is it? I'll send you the some man clips. show is a very late '90s, early 2000s show hosted by uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel and, and Adam Carolla. Oh. Yes, and uh. basically it, it was just it was guys being guys, dudes being dudes. Yeah, which is my beer. favorite genre. Yeah. A lot of titties, titties, uh. and the women, show ended with just women jumping on. on trampolines. I think yeah. I'm gonna like it. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> it's a it's a pretty fun time. God, comedy used to be. I mean, it's maybe still broy in some aspects, but it used to really be something. Oh, because it, it was just. On, there was no decorum it was like a nascar without yeah. the restrictor plates yeah like you could just, now they've put the that's such yeah, a good yeah. way there's to like put small it actually. emissions yeah. you have to pass like certain <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah oh my god well good days are behind us you know here i'll be we damned go. i'll drink to that <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah well, pop so my pop my uh, yeah, seltzer it, the, isn't that the horniest seltzer you've ever seen? Just yeah. huge peach emojis on it. But it ain't bad. Is it okay? I'm I'm okay. with it. This is one You're of my one okay. of my uh one of one of the better peach ones I've had <gasps> in my oh. life. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. I picked it out. I don't drink seltzer water, so I literally was just like, what's the prettiest? That's my brand. They, that's, they how work. that's how you're going with cigarettes. That's how you're going with cigarettes, too. I'm like, what's the prettiest cigarette I can find? Get the some most capris, unique. I told you, man. Yeah. Um so then how long has it been since you've done stand up? Total years. I started stand up 2010, April 2010. Okay. Nice. God. So you I'm sure you're going to share some wild stories with us. I got today. some I do have some some wild stories. Yeah. I feel like a lot of my wild stories involve just like being at odds with the audience. Ooh, I'm intrigued now. I don't have like a lot of yeah. like, you know, like menacing booker. Mm-hmm. That's good. You you're lucky then. Yeah. 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 All right, you want to kick off the first one? Okay, sure, sure. Um, okay, so I used to uh, host an open mic at this bar in Woodbridge, Virginia called Britney's. Ooh. And so Britney's, <laughs> Britney's was the best open mic in the area Okay. as a whole. It was. And then um, basically the guy who was running it got sick. Then his friend who he had running it for him got sick. And it fell all the way down to me. Wait, I'm like just sick, a, like an illness, like yeah, a like an illness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Like so a, you got like, sick and twisted. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no but I like, mean, like, I, I mean, like, it could have been a cold. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> they started listening to Turnstile. Yeah, I mean, but wearing, I mean like, in their hair, wearing wraparound yeah. shades. Yeah, yeah. no, like, no, no. Serious no. illness, and yeah, you were yeah. like, "This is a good pattern. Let me hop in." Hanging yeah, out at the dirt bike track. Yeah, just real sick shit. They're like, we don't have time for this. You're like, you know what? I got to get a new pair of Jenko jeans. Yeah, I'm trying to score Limp Bizkit tickets. I can't fucking run this mic. You know what? These jeans need more chains. (laughs) That's what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. They were not feeling well enough to be hosting an open (laughs) mic on Thursdays. Yeah. Physically. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just after, you know, like, 
four hosts later, it falls to me. I've been doing stand up for like I guess a couple years at that point. Oh my and god! It just you know it was just a train wreck. I didn't Hosting know what I was doing. Hosting a mic is so hard. Yeah. You gotta do it. You, you yeah. gotta do it, and it's just very much like Arkham Asylum. It's just like a bunch yeah. of crazies coming at you with a lot right. of questions, and then. You're trying to get people to watch, and the, those people are also crazy. Yeah, and like, just the worst material because everyone's doing new stuff. You yeah. know, I, I one of the first times I got to host before they gave it to me full time. A guy. So also, it's a bar with three rooms, three separate rooms. Oh, okay. Because Virginia has this uh, little loophole in the no smoking laws where you can smoke. In a place, as long as there is a dedicated room where you can't yes. smoke. <laughs> God, also what in the place. a loophole. What yeah. a loophole. So that's the, also just like how it was. That's just what there it was. There was always yeah. a smoking and non-smoking. But the, yeah. yeah, but it filters into the non-smoking. So yeah. it's just well, funny. No, I mean, well, yeah. that's why they have the pool. Yeah. That's why they have the pool tables. Yeah. Because that was a bridge. Whatever mm. made it out of the main bar. Yeah. yeah. Those guys would get that carbon monoxide, you know, the pool guys. And I always say secondhand smoke is kind of good for you. Build up that immunity. <laughs> yeah. But I also like how their loophole is just like catching up to how it was other places. Yeah. They're like, all yeah. right, we found a workaround. And they're like, well, we've been doing that since 84. So. Yeah. Britney's was on that. That's what they was doing. And somebody, there was a fight in the main room where someone got hit with a glass of Hennessy. Mm. It also was, it was because you could, it was Hennessy because it was came in the, Love a nicer glass, you know, when they <laughs> give you like the little, you're like, the I knew it. yeah, 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 the little, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that old thing. And then the guy who got hit with the Hennessy came into the comedy show, like the fight came into the comedy show, and the guy, like the two people fighting, got separated, and there was one guy who got hit with the Henne- like Hennessy face was sitting in the front row. <laughs> At the show, and he was being, he was doing the the wait after the fight. Yeah, and he was doing like a very loud Peter Griffin, you know, like a no, (sighs) no, that's so bad. He was waiting for someone to show, and I'm like, well, I mean, buddy, he's like the only guy that's gone to a comedy show to be interrogated in the front row. Did he lose the fight? I mean, he definitely lost the fight. I because he wouldn't talk. Like I was like, hey, well, you know, we're all wondering. Yeah, did you win? Mm Mm-hmm. And he and just wouldn't like, no, talk. That's yeah. why I'm here. I need you to cheer me up. Yeah, he's yeah. hiding. I just lost a fight. Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't talk about it, but would be very loud about, about how the, yeah. how he was hurt. Yeah. In the front. But that's just that's like intro to Britney's. Then now I'm hosting it full time. <laughs> I'm trying to get people to come. And uh, one week I decided uh, I'm calling it the best of Britney's. This is going to be the best of Britney's. We're going to have oh. the best of the best. Everybody, look just at that branding. Get ready yeah. for the best of Britney's. I made, you know, what I mean, I made my little Facebook event. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, told You're a bunch like, of people. Invite your whole list of friends. Yeah, yeah. told a bunch of people oh. it was the best of Britney's, and then mm. they, uh, the room was basically double booked with a um, adult softball league, no. like banquet, like an end of season banquet. That's hilarious. That was get pretty crazy. Yeah, and it did get crazy because they were pretty turned up, and then like. <laughs> We're like, are you guys cool with us doing the show? They're like, yeah, go ahead. But and they're rowdy. Yeah, we're doing the show. They're getting rowdy. Basically, it was like, it turned into a standoff between the softball team and, and the, the comedians. Because mm. somebody made a joke about how, maybe how like bats are stupid. You know, somebody said something. They were picking just like, on the softball. Yeah, yeah, somebody was like, hey, yo, so you guys like softball. Well, here's why softball sucks. Yeah. Which comics are good for that. Comics are good at for shitting on things. Yeah, 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 shitting on things at the worst time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here, here, it's a room full of people who yeah. like this one thing. I got a joke about how that is. It's ass. like foot and mouth disease. Yeah. You know. So it's, something it started like spiraling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's like a shouting match between the softball team and the, and a comic on stage and like. Oh, it goes that far. It got that far. To, it got to the point. It didn't get to a full fight, but it got to where it's like. Someone in the crowd stood up. Ooh. You know? I don't like that. It was like one of those, but then it, it eventually did calm down. Best of Britney's was a disaster. Oh, no. But nobody got hit. So it was That's mostly so pretty good. Success. So yeah. it's trending up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the Britney's, yeah. It actually, it was better. Better Britney's. Uh, what else, what's another good Britney? Oh, yeah. I saw a guy drop a, a, someone's birthday cake. Uh, somebody wanted a comic to like say happy birthday. No. 
and homie brought the cake out and just like dropped it right like, like someone working at britney's dropped like, the cake no like a comedian <gasps> like oh. a comedian oh. who i will not say their names todd rex <laughs> 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 Like I don't tripped? think Todd, yeah, I don't think Todd Rex cares. Whatever, he we're was, tagging but, him. We're yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Shout out to Todd Rex. Yeah. yeah, he was. They just wanted him to bring out the cake. Like oh, he got handed no. a cake. Like yeah, as he's on stage, and then somebody's like, "It's my birthday!" Like, yeah. "Oh, great! Oh, it's your birthday! That's cool!" And then a cake appears. He's handed the cake to put down. Cake gets flipped. Mm. That was just a good old time. Do um, servers have school for how to carry things? No. Oh, you Your school is an out. older server being like, what the fuck are you doing? Do it like this. Yeah. Damn. That's your school. Did you ever work in service industry? No, 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 because I don't. Yeah. The hands aren't. <laughs> they're they're not steady like that. They're slippery. You got to do like. You put these these two fingers on top. Okay. On the bottom, and, then you can, and then you can put another one on top like that. I can't do the up the arm. Oh, that that's shit's wild. Really the yeah, plates? That's that shit's yeah, yeah. wild. Super plates? Yeah. But yeah, you can do that. And then so like then this is flat for another plate. I just think and your wrist has got to hurt. Oh, yeah. For sure. You build up. You know, I'd be wrapping that up. Build up those muscles. <laughs> when I was a busser, dude, I was fucking jacked. <laughs> Seriously, I would go home. My dad's like, are you working out? And I'm like, no. And he's like, Jesus, just squeezing my arm and shit. <laughs> I love Bro, that energy. Man, I used to bust tables at the show in, you guys ever heard of Arlington Draft House? No. Yeah. Is See, that like a movie theater? You might have, yeah, because it's a movie theater, and they, uh, the one, I, I, it's a chain, but there's one in Virginia, like right outside of D.C. that does comedy. Mm-hmm. There's always like headliners come in, they do weekends and okay. shit. And they had a room in the, they had a show in the side room. It was like, you know, local showcase mm-hmm. night, Saturday night. Yeah, as you do. As you do. Yeah. And uh, I I asked them to let me bust tables afterwards. Why? Well, just, I just needed some money. Oh, you know what I'm saying? okay. Yeah. It so was you like, were like, let me pick up a shift. Yeah. It yeah. was like, you know, we need that. Mm-hmm. And I think the bartender needed someone. I think it was a situation yeah. where it was mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. somebody didn't show up. I was like, I'll do it. And mm-hmm. I was doing it for a few weeks. And then, um, God, the, the bartender, like, dropped a whole bin of like garbage juice on my shoes oh. like i was wearing my regular shoe you know what i'm saying uh, like yeah. i did a show and then i had my nice uh. blazers on mm. shit was done ish and that was pretty much the end of the, the bus and tables career yeah uh and then oh but more so because that bartender almost killed us uh afterwards oh. after a show we were like all oh, hang you know how it'd be like this is like the weekly hang yeah and then people go to a diner afterwards mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we like Everybody got twisted at the show, and the bartender's like, oh, I'll drive to the diner. Ooh. And this fool is driving, like, 120 on, like, some no. back streets. Like, imagine, like, flying through your neighborhood, like, triple digits. Oh, no, 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 no. It was no, absolutely no. nuts. That was pretty much the end of me talking to that guy. Uh, but I did continue to go to Arlington Draft House. Shout out to everybody <laughs> over there at Arlington Draft House. Uh, what a great place. My guy, my guy Pete yeah. over there. Yeah, that sounds Peace fun though. I do love a venue that isn't a traditional club. Yeah, I think it's fun. I mean, some of them are just you know crappy bar shows or whatever. But yeah. like, if you find a venue that just really loves comedy and makes a space for it, I feel like it can be really awesome. No, it was a lot of fun. It yeah. was a really good spot. Yeah, especially that 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 was like a big one. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of some other. So what wait, so then you did oh. best of Britney's. We That's did best like of Britney's. A disaster. Sort Br- of. Best of Britney's is like yeah. a, 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 mid, a mid level disaster. It didn't go to best. Uh, and then how long did you continue hosting there? I hosted Britney's for like, I didn't make it two years, oh, but it was like a yeah. year. It was like a year and some I mean, change. that's long to Yeah, me. that's like, yeah, yeah. I really, you, know, you do the I, conversion rate on yeah. that. That's yeah, like yeah. a normal five years. Mm-hmm. I held it as long as I could. Oh, yeah. well, and another thing, happened, what else happened with Britney? I remember early on, so before everybody ends up on injured reserve, yeah, at the height of this show's like, like, like just sickness. Yes. Your turn. Uh, I, they like bumped me on the show just on some like, cause I was just like I was brand new, 
And I was like bringing mm-hmm. people, and then also my friends were like assholes. Mm-hmm. Some that happens. Like the the friends were willing to come to comedy shows. They're not always the best people. They're not always the best people. So you I'm know, bringing, like, yeah. like if you have friends who are really keen to see you live, they're usually a problem. You let them come yeah. to one show, then you cut them off. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of I've 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 unleashed this 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 pipeline of dickheads. Yeah. yeah. Into Britney's, and they're like, all right, we gotta get this dude to chill out. And yeah. so they're like, all right, you're not on the show this week. And I'm like, well, damn, okay. And then I leave, and I went to another bar. I don't even know how I ended up over there. But apparently I I land in the lap of a... uh, enemy of the 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 Britney's Ooh, the <laughs> franchise, <establishment>. Caitlyn. Yeah, <laughs> the owner of Caitlyn's. It's yeah, Ashley. Yeah. Ashley. Yeah. Big Ashley's. Yeah. Something. The, I, I walk in this bar and dude's like, I'm like, the dude was like, oh, how come you're not at the, the Britney's? I'm like, well, you know, I'm just not on the show uh, this week, and they're like, oh man, that's crazy. Oh, we should start a show, and, and the next thing you know, I'm now I'm like. I'm starting to open mic with the with the, the with with, with goddamn um um mm-hmm. plankton. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, chum bucket. I'm in the, I'm I'm in cahoots with plankton. Cahoots. And that went on for a few months, but that was just some other shit. I'm trying to think just like in terms of shitty things that happen. Mm. Also when I was in Virginia, I um I got booed off stage many times. Oh wait, why? Like Do you multiple what times. Jokes? Well, just being bad at stand up. It was oh. just generally my energy was awful. That's fair. And the crowd recognized it and uh, I kind of love that. I feel like you yeah. kinda need that. <laughs> yeah. No, I did and not I did, like all the time. Wait, have but, you ever been booed? Fuck no. Oh bro. okay. Hey, look, right. no. But it's no, it's not but yeah. you do need a boo is good, but also like a strong silence. Yeah. Because if you have yeah. people polite laughing all the time, in your head you're like, I'm this is killing. going pretty yeah, no. well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, early on, it was a lot of strong silence and people telling me to my face that I was bad. Mm. Like a lot of early shows, I can remember a guy, the, of the, of the, my old barber. Is Virginia- my barber, <laughs> came, <laughs> barber came to a show and was like, dude, whatever you did before That's the show, hilarious. don't ever do that again because it was terrible. Everything you said was bad. It I wasn't funny. I thought they funny. were supposed to be Southern. Well, he wasn't cutting my hair. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, he's like, I'm off the clock. to do whatever he wants. But is it like yeah. that in Virginia? Are people that blunt? Sure. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be like Southern hospitality. No, 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 no. Because no, Northern Virginia is different. Damn. This is like, it's too okay. close to D.C. to be oh, okay. that to polite. Be, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, very, yeah, yeah. We're pretty close to the to the like, this isn't Carolina. Yeah, you're thinking of West Virginia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So I did a show in Fredericksburg, and it was in a broom. It was just in a really um, <laughs> was it, poorly you say broom closet. No, it was in a. It was in a. It was in a room, but it was like too big. You ever do a show in oh, one of these the rooms worst. where it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they try to take like a multi-purpose room and turn it yeah. into a bar, but yep. it's just like way too big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Too cavernous. Yeah. Too bad for sound. And I'm. It's like I'm here. The audience is. No, like twenty feet that way, and I'm just trying to do my thing, and everybody's talking, and it kind of sucks. Yeah. And then uh, this guy, this guy in a suit, who was doing like a, he was doing like a young Chris Rock impression. Oh, I love that pacing the stage, holding. Yeah, the mic. yeah. And yeah. He's, he's he's like I used to do that one too. Yeah. <laughs> He's like roasting me from the crowd. Like, mm. uh, oh, oh, from this. the audience? Yeah, he's like, oh, you think, you think these are some jokes? And the crowd like wants me to like get him. They're like, get him. And I was just like, dude, you can have it, man. I like, I offer Chris Rockman the mic. I'm like, you think whoa, you can do whoa, better? He wasn't a comic? No, he wasn't a comic. He was just some fucking oh. guy. He was just some guy getting in my shit. Yeah. Well, I always How'd love- he do? Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's like, you fucking crushed, man. He All also right. bombed, but it didn't. They also thought I sucked still. Right. Yeah. It wasn't like I did the right thing. Yeah. I, I just proved that we that both was. sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the coach, uh, I mean the coach, the, the the host came up to me afterwards and was like, don't ever do that again. A yeah. lot of people telling me don't do stuff ever again. Yeah. That is That was the first couple what years. What a career. Of yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> don't do that's that better again. than just you suck, you know? Yeah. I mean, you still get those, but it's like that at least lets you know where you stand. But it's like, don't do that. It's like, well, it's a little constructive, you yeah. know? Yeah. It is nice when people are blunt because I get a lot of backhanded compliments more so. I think that's a more Seattle thing. Yeah. You know, passive aggressive backhanded compliments where you're like, do you, did you enjoy what I did on stage or not? You yeah, know? yeah. No, so, I've gotten a couple of those. Yeah. yeah I get like, oh smart. man, you, you seem so upset, but it's like, it works for you. 
Oh, that like, is so funny, like, Jamel. Like, oh, oh, my, my God. God. I'm so, okay. Uh, you're like upset. You're like the friendliest dude yeah. on the planet. Yeah, thanks, and man. you seem upset on well, stage. I, you know, upset. I've definitely, I've spazzed and I've gone. Okay, one time I used to host an open mic in D.C., actually in D.C. Yeah. Is it this place called Jackpot? <laughs> These names are killing me. Shout out to my guy Martin Amini. Jack <laughs> Jackpot oh, was Martin's a, very funny. Come on now, yeah. uh, Jackpot was a crazy bar because it was like a bar with no food, Ooh. and they would let you. Well, that's a bad. And bar. they would. They only had popcorn. But they no. would, hell yeah! But they would let you bring food, like you could order oh, Domino's. Could buy, oh, I do like that. Yeah, I love that. Have it at the bar, yeah. but do you, but like people were getting so hammered you would forget that they would allow you to order food you know right. what i'm saying by the time you get food find out that you can have food there you've You're already too yeah you should had have had too food much. like an hour ago yeah 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 and we used to let the door guy go on stage uh his name was abdullah and he would call himself uh dig him down doula uh <laughs> r.i.p so oh abdullah. r.i.p yeah doula we lost doula uh, a couple years ago, we lost you know, Dick him down. down swinging. Yeah, lost Dick him down. Big Dick Doula. Over and he used to always, he used to do Aww. every week, every time he did, because we wouldn't put him on every week, because it was just like, hey, you know, yeah, easy, but like <laughs> easy. He his closer was that spit is the best lube. Oh, that's and not then he true. would do like an outlet. <laughs> he would do like a <laughs> out uh, 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 act out of him, and then he would like spit on the stage. Oh. oh, it always ended with him putting a little spit on the I stick. hope he would clean it. Nobody cleaned Nobody it. Nobody cleaned it. It was like a little carpet, little box. Ew. Yeah. Anywho, so uh, <laughs> Jackpot, I'm, one time, like, because Jackpot would get insane. It was like Mondays, and it was, people would be really rowdy. Okay. It, it's like downtown, kind of anything goes. And it's like a especially rowdy night. And some people in the table right in front of us are like talking the loudest. And I'm trying to, like, get him to calm down. As the show is going on. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I'm like, chill out. And then I don't know what. Like, I'm just going back and forth with them. Somehow in the conversation, I find out one of the dudes in that group is was, like, signed up. Oh, to go up. List. And when I found out he was on the list, that's when I lost it. I just yeah. I just let him have it. I was like, yeah. what the fuck, dude? Why are you looking right at me? Yeah. Go yeah. in the back. Stand in the bathroom, yeah. write your notes in the middle of the street, walk mm -hmm. to K Street. You know what I mean? I'm just like, yeah. I'm just like unloading on this guy. Crowds eating it up. And he got up and like smashed a glass in front <gasps> of me. Like he took like a glass and just smashed it. And then like, I don't know what came. I just started laughing. Because <laughs> I was like, dog, you didn't even throw it at me. Yeah. You threw it on the ground, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Everybody's wearing shoes. We got brooms. Yeah. <laughs> You fucking loser! Shoes, you fucking idiot! You fucking Wait. dumbass! Unless there's a loose dog running. But around. I, I was like, yeah. you know, afterwards I was like, oh, he what? What if he did throw it at you? Yeah, you know, but yeah. I, something like. I, and he just has bad arm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I, wait, first, so he did that? Yeah. Did like he, at the yeah. beginning of his set? Did this he even like before do a set? In the audience. He was no, he was the on audience. the list. No, no, he was in the audience. He didn't go up yet, but uh, somehow I found oh, out. This was when you yeah, okay. were talking, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm going up." I'm like, "What the fuck are you? Yeah, how is this?" What's and then happening? during that, mm -hmm. yeah, he he freaked out and showed dominance glass by smashing a glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real alpha move. It was really strange. He has a Netflix special now. Yeah. That man, yeah. Mr. Netflix. Mr. That man Netflix. was Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was. You know, things happen. People change. You know, that's how it goes. Honorable yeah. mention to Chris D'Elia. I would have also accepted Chris D'Elia there. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I could believe that one. Uh, uh, Alex, I'd like to ring in another <laughs> answer. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's yeah. kind of like always somebody throwing a drink. or uh, One time I, I, I used to host Trivia. Oh, mm -hmm. boy, that's and, another fun one. Yeah, I'm out in Virginia, and there's, like, some regulars who used to always win. And they brought, they had, like, like a friend come, you know, just, like, somebody who I, like, this is a group of regulars with one stranger. New person, okay. And this lady's, like, kind of being a lot, but it's not that big of a deal. And then somewhere in the middle of the game, the, the answer to a question was Wilson Phillips. And so then I make a, like, I'm like, Wilson Phillips, and... I yeah. start singing the song. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. You know, it's the one. Yeah. Well, you, You're you, doing all three vocals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and the crowd, you know, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get people like enthused. Right. 
And the the new lady's like, oh man, fucking stop it. She's like, scream. She's like, at your singing? Yeah, she's like, I hate Wilson Phillips. And uh, I'm like, I would never live she that. Got, yeah, she got is, kicked out of the group. Well, this why. is like 2012. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, why do you care? <laughs> why do you care? It's 2012. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why do you care so much about Wilson Phillips? They <laughs> it's haven't not had a song. 1989. Yeah, <laughs> they haven't had a song in years. And so then I say some shit like, oh, you're just mad because you don't look good on the beach in a turtleneck. Because if you remember the video, they're all on the beach in turtlenecks. You're so evil for that. Like, but it's like, so why? But the problem I have with it being evil is like, it's the beach. That's good. You don't want to look beach, good yeah. on the beach. Like, That's who cares? Good. It's a turtleneck. Yeah. But That's once so again, funny. it gets a laugh. It's really dumb. This lady gets up, takes. I had a ginger ale. She takes my ginger ale and pours it all over my table. And then sat back down. God, and I was like, people dog, are really trying to fight you. Insane yeah. behavior yeah, to yeah, sit like, back dog, down. Yeah, what do you mean? You go, yeah, you don't just... sit but leave yeah. at that point. Yeah, were the just... regulars horrified? No, they was try- well, they were, but they were like trying to like play it down. Oh, man. And I'm like, what are you afraid that this lady's going to beat you all up? Probably. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make it so you can't come back to trivia. Mm-hmm. I'm the yes. fucking quiz master. What are you going to do on Tuesdays now? Yeah, yeah. man. I, like, yeah. I was just like, so y'all just going to let her do this? For real? God, Nobody, you're so calm. Nobody's going to tell this lady to, to, to relax. And then like... The way I would have an anger issue. Well, I was starting to freak out about it. And then I remembered yeah. I had just ordered chicken tenders. Uh, the, honestly, So I'm like, all right, yeah. if I make a big deal out of this and then I start... I, I say yeah. trivia's canceled. <laughs> yeah. They're going to cancel my chicken tenders. Yeah. Like, so I'm I was like, let me hungry. just yeah. take my little... And get on. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just going to go down the road. You always got to think bigger picture. Okay. I was thinking about the well, end of that. Go ahead and sing the song now. No. <laughs> We got the lady here. Come on out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jerry Springer. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> da, 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 something, 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 and something, something else. <laughs> Did you know you could change? You could go. Yeah, like, I love that that you know? elicited yeah. such a huge reaction. It was nuts. She was That's really insane. upset. insane. She was really, really upset. Damn, we you have a lot her. of people throwing stuff at you. I don't know that I've ever. I mean, that one gal went viral for having a beer thrown. Oh her. yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever had anything thrown at me. Yeah, no, that wasn't. Yeah. I had somebody. I had somebody throw. I've seen somebody throw silverware at another comedian. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. At a show, Spoon? that's dangerous. Spoon fork. Okay. Yeah, well, it was fully. It was a whole oh, wrap. Oh, the set. roll. Yeah. And it was that's so the, nice, the guy on stage. He's just doing some light crowd work, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Hey, is anybody from uh, Utah?" And then, like, this lady in the front, like, right next to the stage goes, Wee! like, she, like, really, but, like, s- screams, like, screeches, like, takes mm-hmm. it, like, past the point of enthusiasm. Yeah. And my man goes, well, you're a pretty poor representation of Utah. <laughs> uh, just, like, a just offhand, a joke. just yeah. real yeah, quick. Yeah. Low riff. Because yeah. she really spazzed, and she just, like, just, like, scoffed at him and lobbed her silverware like adam and it missed oh well good yeah but then it was just like yo then i'm hosting the show i had to go back up and be like yo um i think you gotta go yeah i don't think you can stay really bad aim yeah i was like i don't think you can stay after you do the silverware thing yeah and it was kind of like weird it starts to divide between the audience because then Mm. it was like a group of libertarians in the back (laughs) yo (laughs) You mean these fiscally uh, always in the back, so yeah. always in the yeah. back. These libertarians—they're yeah. the most annoying people. They're on the side of the lady who threw the silverware, because then one of the leader is like <laughs> the leader of the pack. The leader's yeah. like, "Oh, come on, man! Oh, it was wrapped. That's fine." I'm like, <laughs> "Oh, so oh, so I could just throw any wrapped item at you? It was wrapped." <laughs> I could just throw it over yeah, yourself. You're like, let me get could, a gift box going over yeah. here filled with knives. There was a napkin yeah, around it. I could throw it. any yeah. packaged item at you. <laughs> that's actually that's, very funny, logical. That's the yeah, libertarian illogical. loophole. That's what they call it. Yeah, that's keep it wrapped. As long as it's wrapped. Keep it wrapped, yeah. That shit was ridiculous. Then one time, I, I when I first moved to L.A., I did a show at uh, the Downtown Independent. I don't know if they do shows there anymore, mm. but it's like this theater like downtown. Okay. And... I'm just talking some shit. I had, I used to tell this joke about like, the, the premise is I'm trying to hit on a girl at a bus stop. Classic. And the punchline Been is. Been there, done that. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the girl is like, oh, but come on. I use, oh. 
Oh, uh, 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 no. What are, what are people going to uh, think of me or something? Oh, that she's getting picked up at a bus yeah, stop. Yeah, and it's okay. like, and the punchline is, well, we're both at the bus stop. Yeah. You know, like, we're yeah. I'm here yeah. with you. Mm-hmm. What are we going to do? What are you going to do? We got a long commute. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's okay. I remember how it go because it used to go like I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm tired of these. I'm tired of these chicks, man. I'm tired of these broads. <laughs> yeah. I, love the, I love all saying the time. Chicks. Let it out. Yeah. yeah, all the time. These broads can't yeah. say that anymore with their with with their with their highfalutin <laughs> attitudes. Uh, and then I'll be like, hey, hey, would you like to get a uh, frozen yogurt? And then the girls like, oh no, I'm not going out with you. Yeah. I'll t- you're, you, know, you take the bus, and then I'm like, "Oh, excuse yeah. me, lady, we're, we're on, on the bus." bus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what do you what do you mean? What are you That's talking about? Funny. And then and so this girl in the in like in the back of the room gets up and is like, "Fuck you, women ride the bus." Uh, oh, you're like, yeah, I know, I see them every you're day. Like, oh, that I'm on the bus. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh shit, I, and then so I respond that way. I'm like, yo, you know, in the joke, I'm also yeah. on the bus. Yeah. I'm not trying to talk down to the bus. And then I fully break it all the way down. The crowd's laughing. And this lady's like, fuck you. She gives me two hits, double birds. Ooh. And then walks off. Or I see this. And then I see a big gulp hit the wall. It wasn't thrown at me. Where is she getting a big gulp? See, that's what I'm saying. It's just a big gulp gets She's thrown for the at bus. the wall. But dick. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. the whole time I'm like, Damn. That lady was really upset. I don't know what was making her so upset. Then, the next night, I go to another show. This is when Meltdown was still around. Mm. So I'm just hanging out in the back of Meltdown, and these dudes, well, okay, so it was like some dudes who was at the show the night before. Afterwards, they were like, yo, oh, that was so funny. No. Oh, I thought you were going to say the same woman was there. I was, was going to say. No, no. Two so, big gulps this time. <laughs> at the end of the show, they're like, yo, what's up? You're so funny. Yeah, fuck that bitch. We threw oh. the soda. <gasps> oh, at her. It was a group of dudes. The group of dudes threw the soda at her. Oh. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Then, That's not great. Then I see them the next night at again? Meltdown with Big Gulps. They had Big Gulps again. Big Gulp boys? The yeah. Big Gulp boys were running them up. <laughs> I'm trying to join. They're running Dog. them up. 2016. <laughs> 2016, they really the was, 2016 Big Gulp Boys. Yeah, no, it was that <laughs> oh was pretty God. fucking crazy. Yeah, they're like, yeah, this is our thing, dude. Well, if anyone, yeah. if anyone when I saw off them at a with the Big Gulp again, this is big our gulp. thing. Yeah, no more like, tomatoes, sad. just red Big Big yeah. Gulps. Yeah. When I saw them with them again, I really got worried, and I just that is I like, hilarious. I just so much of these crowd interactions are literally just the audience member misunderstanding the joke. Yeah. yeah. Because I've had people like even comment on reels or like as i'm on stage they'll respond to the joke and i'm like oh you didn't listen to the premise yeah you know and it's just so funny to me what what gets people going like that you hear like, one word and how are you like, not yep. embarrassed i would be like public shame we need to bring it back I, we man, need to bring back the big gold boys yeah, yeah i felt really let's like, get a crew <laughs> together. when i found out it was them dudes i was I, that's not great it was devastating yeah I I you were like, wish it was her. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. your security team, man. Yeah, dude. Maybe I should have stayed tight with them. Yeah, yeah, I know. You should have. They really had your back. I wonder where they are. So yeah, sick. I wonder yeah. where they are now, I love too. That. Yeah. I really like them. The bi- <laughs> Shut up. I know. I'm being serious because, like, think about it. Just the fact that you They're saw both them. Wrong. The fact that you saw them again yeah. is wild. I mean, it's not. I guess, you know, they like to go to comedy shows. But then they like their thing is to get big gulps and then go to comedy shows. shows. But they're also like I'll everyone fuck has it. a thing. They're like I'll throw this. I'll I don't this. like. No, I'm I, about I, it. throwing something to me is so wild. It so, is pretty wild. That's yeah. a wild. Like I don't. I don't know. I've I've been angry in my life, but I I've never thrown. I've something thrown some at stuff. Someone. And I, but throw? I regret it. Knives at a wall. What no, you throw? No, I'm not that fucking. I'm not going Rambo. Okay. Uh, what like you taxi what if, what driver? You, at, at, you've thrown something at someone? No, not at someone. What have you thrown? I don't want to talk about it. <gasps> well, okay. I'll say this. I seen uh, <laughs> one time my homie threw an ice cream at a guy. Like it, uh, it was like a double date. Imagine it's like <laughs> me, him, our two girlfriends in a car. We're going somewhere. We got ice creams. <laughs> I love this 
visual and, this Lexus sedan. And something <laughs> happened. Some like my man got cut off or something. Like oh, it's just road a, rage is real. It was just like a traffic situation, and my friend yeah. like really threw a ice cream hard at this other him? car. Did he get it? Yeah, he hit the car. It was See, crazy. I can. I've had an urge to throw something like that, like a food item at an ice car. Just because it's a nice car? No, or they just, did I something. hate when people are asshole drivers, and then you want to have a nice car and drive like an asshole. Yeah. yeah. Drive like an asshole if you got a run-down, like, uh, Miata. Yeah. Like, well, that's, you know? that's the like, joke, is everyone's like, you fucking think I'm not going to go crazy in this yeah, 98 Camry? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you have a BMW. I will I will fake every injury yeah. in yeah. the book I have if you even lose. look at me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 100%. Well, Chris yeah. Mejia has that story about uh <laughs> did he ever fix his door what door <laughs> do you know chris mahia jamel oh yeah i met him up there he, when i was up there with y'all up there i think there, when elliot came to visit <laughs> i think that he was oh, like you can't get in oh yeah yeah, yeah. The passenger door <laughs> yeah no he uh he well yeah he just got a whole new car but <laughs> thank god he um he had a story about one night he was driving in seattle and something happened this dude in a truck was like following him, tailing him, whatever. Yeah. And he was like, oh shit. And they get to like a stoplight or a stop sign. And the dude pulls up on the side, like tinted windows, everything. Mm. And he's like, oh fuck. You don't see a lot of trucks in Seattle. So yeah. you're kind of like. If you do, it's a Republican. Yeah. You're like, this is a certain type of person. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, I lost. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, like, and this so is not he Spokane. fucking pulls up yeah. and he's like, oh shit. And Chris has yeah. his window down. Yeah. And so the dude rolls his window down and he just sees his hand come up and he's like, <gasps> holy fuck fuck and then all of a sudden the dude just throws something at him and it's a fucking apple core oh <laughs> it just goes right into his car and the dude speeds off pretty good isn't that sick oh man see i've had, because then there's I've so had many people questions. aggressively do shit like that to me and i'm just like man wouldn't it be nice wouldn't it be nice but that's all but then chris was like did he just like just finish the apple did yeah he yeah did he have waiting? the core like what i it might have hit him that's in the head so i don't know but it like that's also just a very Seattle thing that to do. That is so funny. Here's wow. my trash. Here's a, yeah. Oh, boy. A little composting yeah. for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Have you had an audience member do anything weird to you? I had someone walk out one time. Uh, at, during your set? Yeah, at Jai Tai. Like, because, I mean, because yeah, obviously of, Because set, of something because I said. Because of something you said. Yeah. And was it evident? They were very drunk, and they got up to leave. I said something about... Um, how you don't believe in 9-11 <laughs> well i was like covid was a good thing and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> turns out this person's a doctor yeah but no i said something about how like seattle is so woke there's like loopholes Ooh, like you okay. can be racist as long as you say like sure sure yeah. it's your kink was this a white yeah. woman no it was a white gay man oh okay and so Moki don't like that. Yeah, Moki. Uh, Moki. Moki's got some issues with yeah, gender. She's, she's got to work some stuff out. Identities yeah, and does. norms. And, yeah, yeah. 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 I knew I shouldn't have told this story. It's all good. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. Um, I had an audience member oh, once. I didn't even finish the story. Oh, that's not <laughs> it? Okay, no. go off. Go off, queen. <laughs> Stay cunty. No. Talk to us. <laughs> No, so I, I did that. I did that joke. So basically, I'm like, yeah, you can be racist as long as you say it's your fetish, because then if someone, okay. you know, tries to be like, and hey, like, how'd you know? Be like, hey, you can't say yeah. that. You can be like, oh, it's like the only way I can get off. And they're like, oh my god, now I'm kink shaming you. So like, yeah. I'm no better than you know, like whatever. That's and funny. he got up and walked out and went to the bar, which was just you know ten feet away from where he was sitting, <laughs> yeah. and was like. This is outrageous. I'm not staying for this. I can't believe you let people talk about this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And the bartender was like, what? What are you upset about? Like, what he literally yeah. was like, well, what yeah. Like, what was it? What was bad? And then word for word, the guy goes, if you don't know, you're not paying attention. Oh, God. And then left. And they were like, oh, okay, my God. all right. So I did feel I was like, oh, damn. And then when I heard he said that, I was like, all right, and we're what done. What a douche. And we're done. Yeah. yeah. And that I... man was Jerry Seinfeld. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he's a nice young gay man. Um, I uh, <laughs> I I once had an audience member. I was doing like a set. I think maybe it was just a mic or something, you know. But I was doing this like. Uh, kind but you were of, treating it like a show. Yeah, fully. I was like, this is a paid gig. One hundred percent. Amen. 
but it was like it was when I first started stand up and I was like doing material about like my dad being in concentration camps. So I'm like talking about genocide and like, explaining the premise. And in the middle of the premise <laughs> That's when I first started stand up, just a little lighthearted. Well, bit. it's like yeah, I yeah. was navigating that material, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and so you're trying to be like careful and you yeah. gotta set it up a little bit. I can't just like expect everyone to know what this war is, you know. That is a very beginning of your stand up career thing yeah. where you're yeah. like, I think I got a grasp on it. Let me yeah. really get to the topic. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. usually does involve <laughs> World War Two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And so I'm like explaining the premise that my dad was in concentration camps. And in the middle of my like set, I just heard this woman go, hello. And she's on her phone. Yes. And she, someone had called her and she picked up and was talking in the middle of my Fuck set. Yeah. And rules. I guess that she has this <laughs> thing on her apartment where it calls you to let people in. And so she's oh, letting yeah. her friend into her place. But she was like having a conversation. And I was just like, oh, yeah, no, it's great. I'm just <laughs> explaining genocide to you. <laughs> like it was so well, she talks to somebody incredible. On a ring cam. I was like, yeah, step through. out of the audience also, or something. That's not when you need to have a conversation. No. I was like, are you fucking serious right now? She's like, yeah, yeah, no, I'll let you in. Yeah, and I was like, what? yeah, that's literally all you need to just be like, you there? Okay. And then you just hit a button and it lets them in. You well, don't I need think to be she like, was trying so to do that, day? but it was like, so, you know, it was at the the nest when it was in the basement. Mm. So it's like, you can hear absolutely everything. Yeah, it's not that, that big room, of a room, you know, and it's not that big of a room. It's not that big of an audience, but it's a fun basement to perform in. And I was just like, this is not happening. Like, this is so funny that this person is answering their phone in the middle of my like darkest material I've ever tried yet. So Rough. it was just so funny, but I've never had, I don't. Maybe I've upset someone with something, but not like them walking out of a show. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever had that happen. Um, You'll get there. It's fun. I know. I know. It's like I'm not going too hard enough in the yeah, paint. Yeah, you know? I mean, that should let you know. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. you gotta ratchet well, it up. Well, I think it's because mm-hmm. I'm really warm and welcoming. So yeah. even if I say something really you dark. You gotta start saying, like, you know? COVID is a good thing. You yeah. Know? You gotta yeah. get on that train. I need to start fetishizing things. And yeah. Then, yeah. Fetishize COVID. You know what to do. You yeah. know, just I take know your time. You, okay, you, you so I'm gonna start say, smoking like, cigarettes. Here's what you can say yeah. you can say, yeah. I like my dicks like I like my COVID. Oh, Long. Yeah. Okay. All right. Pack it up, Ellie. <laughs> that was. Ugh. Yeah, that's the right sound. Uh, we'll add that to our soundboard. It's if, just look, gonna if be you're Jamel not gonna going to use it, I yeah. will. All right. Okay, yeah, that ain't bad. It's fine. Any other crazy stories? <laughs> I mean, nah, nothing too crazy. I mean, anything you know, crazy like, good? Do you have a crazy good story? Yeah, well, where that's you were a just nice like, question. you were just like, oh wow, I can't believe this happened. I do have a crazy good story. I I but I'm not going to tell it. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 I actually do. You I, do, know, I yeah. do, and that's for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Here's, here's my yeah. crazy good story. Um, also, like when I, before I moved to LA, I was like visiting and I did, um, I, I did one of the big shows out here, uh, Hot Tub. Oh mm, my God, yeah. fun. Which, you know, we wherever Hot Tub lands, please continue support. Yeah. But like, Okay, so I do the show. Show goes good. Mm-hmm. And this was before, this was pre, um, pre-mild pre canceling of Aziz. Oh, yeah. Remember? A you know soft what I'm canceling. But bef- yeah. Before he got soft. Yeah. Soft launch the cancel. Soft, soft launch cancellation. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. he got soft scrambled. And you were on the show with him? So. No, no. I wasn't even on the show with him. Okay. I, was on the, I was on the show. And then um, one of his friends. I like go backstage and somebody on the show was like, that was really good. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you got to, you got to meet Aziz. And oh, Aziz, yeah. Aziz was like dropping in. Cause this is when he was working on, this is when he was working on that album that eventually did get him canceled. <gasps> like the tour oh, surrounding no that time. Way. Uh, That's you know hilarious. what I'm saying? Anyway, he, he used to drop in the shows and do an hour, which is insane. Yeah. But like, it's like some he, Eddie Griffin. Shit. Yeah. Damn. He was doing that, getting ready to do like the garden or some shit. And, his man's Baron Vaughn, also a very funny guy. Oh, nice. He's like, yo, you got to meet this guy. And Aziz is like, are you doing any other shows tonight? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dog, I just moved here. Oh, my God. Uh, what are you talking about other shows? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the last show I have. For a while. In my yeah. life. Yeah. And he's like, well, come. I'm doing UCB Franklin after this. Honestly, come that's through. the coolest thing that yeah. someone can do. And so he's like, do that. He's like, yeah. come, come do that. But then yeah. like. Expected me to just go to UCB Franklin by myself and just walk in there and be like, hey. I'm doing the show. Aziz said yeah. I could do the show, which is insane, which is objectively yeah. crazy. Yeah. 
So I do that. <laughs> and the host is like, no, man, look, Aziz. <laughs> He's Aziz, just saying Aziz, shit. Yeah. Aziz, yeah. yeah, Aziz doesn't run the show. Not only is Aziz not here with you, yeah. you are here yeah. alone. <laughs> he also does not run the show. That's so fucking good. And I'm like, you're right, dog. <laughs> I know. When is he supposed to start producing yeah. shows? You're like, us, look, yeah. I thought all of those same thoughts. I yeah. thought the same shit, but I just did You're it because. Like, I'm not crazy. Yeah. 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 I just did it because Parks and Rec is currently rocking. It's that time. You know, shit is. I, what am I supposed to do? You'd go when you're b- back. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't say no to Tom Haverford. So then I walk. <laughs> yeah. So then I walk outside with my, my boys and they were like, well, you know, obviously that didn't work. Then Aziz come walking up. He's like, hey, did you tell yeah. him? I'm like, yeah, I told him. Yeah. They don't know who I am. What do you mean, man? Aziz is like, no, nah, that's, that's so That's when people weird. like forget yeah. their celebrity. <laughs> yeah, They're like, what do you mean it didn't work? Yeah. You're like, I'm not you. you. Yeah. I'm not famous. Come on, yeah. man. He's like, oh, true, my bad. And then he walks in there and hooks it up. And then the host is like, you cool with doing 10? I'm like, look, dude. You're like, I'll do eight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you mean? Am I, I'm not going to play hardball with you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dead, Please. Thinking 12. Actually, yeah. yeah. 11. <laughs> yeah, 1150. Never, never, <laughs> yeah. never heard from Aziz and sorry again. Yeah. But that's kind of, I've but had someone was, do that where they're yeah. like, hey, you want to do another show after this? And they just put you up. And it is like the nicest thing yeah. I feel like you can do. It's such a compliment. Yeah. It was, it was super, yeah. super, super, super cool. That is actually awesome. And I'm sure the audience was cool too that night. Like what? Mm. fun way hot tub first of all yeah holy shit back in the day back in the day when it was like yeah it was super duper super 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 yeah, yeah. and I, it's never been and bad it's hard to get it on just, yeah. it's so hard to get on to hot tub you know i mean and now they're not even i think they're moving they're going to some other, oh they're not the virgil anymore yeah oh, no, really? no they're in the middle of finding some new place so oh, wow. wow you know it's been oh, like a we couple got a months of insider them. knowledge here right. you know yeah. game on Oh, my God. Well, Jamel, those are all incredible stories. Thank you so much for sharing. Do you have any advice after all these years for any upcoming comics or even people who have been in the game? Uh, For if you're if you're up coming, if you're if you're thinking about starting, just do it. Yeah. And don't tell anybody, you know, for a long time. That's so real. Just do it. Just do it. Uh, If you've been doing it for a couple of years, uh, do keep doing what works i'm not saying don't try stuff don't i'm not saying don't get out of your comfort zone but find where your comfort zone is yeah work on that where you feel like you're in the pocket yeah 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 and and for the vets um you know just uh you know remember to refill your wellbutrin <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get your Lexapro <laughs> cracking. Big facts. <laughs> we go I'll see you. That's the best advice I'll we've ever gotten you. on the pod, I think. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for sharing incredible stories. Where can people find you? Uh I'm on the internet. Um I'm at Broccoli House on Instagram. Uh I've also got a couple of internet radio programs. <laughs> uh it's uh Airbuds Pod everywhere. That's a basketball thing. Damn. And then uh Sorry We Love Football at Sorry We Love NFL everywhere else that's a football thing of course Check sports out. themed of course of course there's Elliot. no rule that says a dog can't play basketball i yeah. know that's right you know you know you know the playbook you know the rules yeah. that's a good yeah. movie oh god <laughs> uh who is it i think it's um i think it's nova Excuse maybe me. in seattle has an incredible airbuds joke you gotta hear okay. i hope it's recorded somewhere i love an airbuds i do love an airbud joke yeah yeah, yeah. Elliot, where can people find you? Yeah, you can find me on all platforms at Pro COVID Comedy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, you can find me on all social media platforms at Grant Radish, G R E N T R A D D I S H. Um, I also just made a hive. Hey, no. Ooh, I don't know. Congrats, everyone's kind of doing that. Right, sure. so hive up. I what, think is it the handle the same on Hive? I think so, actually. Okay. Sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, that's it. Beautiful. <laughs> I was like, what else do I have going on? You're like, no one has to know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm at Ariana Ramick on all platforms. Make your life easy. But yeah. All right. That's it. We did it. And we're out. (laughs) Yay. Nice.